everyone, welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. So today I thought I would do a quick life update video because I haven't filmed in a while um, and there's been a lot going on, which is why I haven't filmed in a while. So if you guys are <laughs> ready for a little bit of a, a talking vlog, um, grab a snack, grab a coffee and let's do it. So today is December 14th. It's been quite a while, I think, since I vlogged, maybe like a month or two. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a house update um, as well as just a good old fashioned life update. So um, everything at school is going lovely. I love, I still love my job, love my students, love my coworkers, my school, everything. Everything's going great at school. Um, it's like all the things outside of work that are going on nothing bad nothing bad is happening everything's good um we got approved for our construction loan and our loan um uh, also our permit had been approved so we broke ground today at our lot and so i'm here and i wanted to like take you guys around and show you some some stuff um so everything is kind of like going and starting and my mom is like you guys will see this up at, at, during this month and you'll see this at this time and I'm like oh my gosh don't get our hopes up like I, I don't know I'm trying not to get like excited and like over my head like thinking about timelines and all that stuff because I just don't want to like anticipate something happening and then it doesn't happen um, the only sure thing that's going to happen at, at a certain time is that I will have a baby <laughs> in around three months um, which is crazy. So I'm currently 20, almost 26 weeks, which isn't that far along, it doesn't seem, um, but there are only three months left. So that is uh, scary. <laughs> um, and so now that our house is like approved and everything, um, that process is gonna start getting rolling and is gonna get very busy. So we just like signed all our paperwork and printed everything off and um, like I said, we just broke ground on the lot today. Um, and so I do want to take you guys over there and show you everything. But with all of this comes a little bit of stress because of the unknown. Um, building a house, we have like a set budget. We have a loan amount. And the interest rates are just horrendous right now, as I'm sure all of you know. Um, and so I believe our interest rate on our construction loan is 7 I want to say 7.8 something like that um, and we'll be paying interest only on that um, up until the home is finished and then once the home is finished they will transfer our construction loan into a um, more permanent loan um, and hopefully this is what I'm praying for is that the interest rates drop a little bit because of the election um, I'm hoping the house will be done end of April maybe beginning of May that is what my mom is um, estimating. Um, she's built so many homes and um, she is like, she's guiding us through this process and she thinks it should be ready by April, May. I'm hoping for May that way baby comes and we have some time to like get a grip on that and have our family life adjust with that. And then we can move into the new house. Um, I think that would just be a lot easier Obviously then if I'm not pregnant when we're moving in the house, I can help. <laughs> so um, we're hoping for that and I'm just praying, praying so hard that these interest rates drop before then because the mortgage is gonna be like double what we used to pay and we make half of what we used to make. <laughs> so it's very stressful, the unknown, especially having that situation and bringing a new baby into the world it's just a lot. It's like, you know, that list of like the most stressful things that happen in your life, like death in the family, marriage, um, having a new baby, moving. It's like, we're stacking all of these life changing, life altering, stressful events all into one hot minute. Like we moved here, we're having a baby, we're building a house, we're going to move again. <laughs> like it's just like job changes. All of that stuff can cause so much stress in someone's life. Luckily though, we have each other and we have our families to lean on and without their support, it, there just is no way we'd be able to accomplish all of this. So 
Anyway, that is what's been going on. Um, and of course, there's little sprinkles of all kinds of other stuff happening, like Cash's first dentist visit and, you know, baby doctor appointments and Christmas is coming in a couple of days. And so it's just a lot going on um, while we're trying to kind of like tiptoe our way through this new life that we're trying to create. So anyway, I do want to take you down to the property and show you um, what's been done so far. My parents and my husband and Cash are all on their way here. We bought some Christmas lights to put on the porta potty. It is a tradition. When I was growing up, my mom actually built all of our homes, uh, owner builder. We lived in them for two years and then we sold them. So I lived in like at least 10 different homes growing up. Um, I always hated leaving them, but I always loved getting a new bedroom. <laughs> um, but one of the traditions that we always did was we decorated the porta potty for Christmas. And so we're gonna do that. We're gonna like christen the lot and just kind of like see, she's gonna explain where everything's gonna go. And so I'll show you guys as much as I can. Now I did wanna know, because I do wanna share all of this process with you guys, but I'm conflicted where I wanna share it. Do I wanna share it here on Apples and Tiaras or do I wanna share it on our family channel, Apples and the Badge? Um, I don't know. I just, I wanna know what you guys think. Are you guys here for teaching content or are you here for just whatever I put up there? Um, you know, because if, if I put this here, I just, I wanna make sure that it's targeting the right audience. Like I wanna make sure you guys are enjoying what you're watching. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see the house building process here on Apples and Tiaras. Um, let me know in the comments. Drop a little house emoji if you're down for it being here on Apples and Tiaras. And then if I get enough of it, I'll post it here. If not, I'll probably just post it on my personal family channel. Um, but just know that like teaching content has been very hard to make. Um, and not because I'm not like inspired or I'm not whatever. It's just that I have a really amazing team this year and I spend a lot of my prep time that I would normally spend vlogging working with my team. Like we're discussing, you know, things and like we work really well together and I really enjoy their company. And so, um, I just feel like I'm not like sitting in my room by myself vlogging anymore. I feel like I'm just like I'm enjoying being in the atmosphere I'm in. And so I feel like there's sort of a small shift in like what I wanna share. Um, I also just feel like everything I've shared in the past has been already shared. And it's like, what else can I share? So if you do wanna continue to see teaching content on this channel, it would be lovely if you could comment below and tell me what exactly you wanna see um, specifics about like management, about how to teach a certain standard, um, you know, things like that. So if you wanna continue to see teaching content, um, put an apple emoji down below and then pop a little bit of a topic next to it. And then perhaps if I can find time, I can uh, vlog that for you guys. But otherwise there might be a shift in this channel. We might turn it into a mom channel or just a lifestyle channel or just like a whatever I feel like filming channel. Um, because I do like filming and I do like editing and posting. It's just that I haven't really felt like, oh, I should post this or, oh, I should post that if it's not teaching related. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to get out of the car and show you guys what we're working with. All right. So it is currently 52 degrees out here. We're all bundled up because it's cold. Nobody can crash into us. Hey, everyone. Our... Nobody can crash into us. Okay, so here's the driveway. I wore like the worst What's shoes. Potty? It's not here yet. Oh, they said either today or tomorrow. Well, I'm thinking, don't you want me to wait to put that on the statement too or no? Because I haven't paid it. I haven't, it's not on my credit card. It just card went through today. Let's go see, so. bud. I wait, or do you want me just to do two drives? This is our um, driveway. Uh, you gonna ride your bike down this driveway? We could put a basketball hoop above our garage. Okay, let me just quick <laughs> move stuff. 
Yeah. I think he covered up all the stuff that he marked. What's wrong with that? He sure did. No, he didn't. It's the little pink ribbon. What are you talking about? Huh? Did you say this looks cool? Right here. Mm -hmm. That's where. Okay, so all of this is driveway. So and turnaround space. I'm never taking these things out. But, okay, the corner of the garage is right about. Yeah, just cover it up for that. Well, they got it wet because they're getting it ready to turf. They're going to, they need it more solid so that we look pretty. I think it's right here. The corner of the garage is right about here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you come out of your garage, yeah. I told them what we're going to have you do is experiment with your truck. Because you, I, I'm figuring you'll get your truck in on this side and she'll put her four runner on that side. We're leave the Tahoe out. We'll leave the Tahoe out. We'll just probably put it. You park all of that under those bushes, it's all flat. It's all parking space. We're gonna hit the tree. I, I'm gonna, yeah, because I don't want you to lose that tree. It's so pretty, right? So we were talking. Maybe you might want to just cut the, the first one. Let me if you have to. So if we go like this and just kind of curve it right here, it's gonna save that tree. It's gonna save that tree. Yeah. Boogie went to the dentist. His mouth is all numb. Look at him. Look at, his, look at his mouth. So this will be Cash's treehouse tree. It's an alligator tree. Yep, we're gonna do like a platform and then maybe a ladder with like a secondary thing up there. Look at the oak and the we'll oak see, oak. even if we just did a platform, that'd be cool. Yeah. Like a platform with a ladder, he can climb yeah. up into it. And, and you trim off all the dead stuff and it'll be easy. Yeah. And that'll probably trim up, help guide Scott and trim off all these mm -hmm. lower branches. Yeah, and then, We'll have to make a little path from the tree over through here. And then we can put like the playhouse would be perfect. The trampoline and playhouse over here. Yeah. And then the turf can be closer to, yeah. yeah. And then maybe even a small chicken coop. I don't know. I want to do a garden. Yeah. Maybe a garden right here in this like empty space. Fencing? White fence? Yeah. Yeah, we want to do a perimeter. Think... Not the whole thing, but just like maybe around here. Oh, around here. <laughs> maybe not quite to the tree. Yeah. Down here and then maybe attach it to the corner. Yeah. For the gate. Ah. Don't pull that out, baby. You gotta talk. Hey, hey, no. You gotta talk about I think maybe we do an outer back perimeter fence and then in the front we do like a smaller picket fence. Yeah. Because you can do whatever you want. That's yeah. Nice. So this will all be like, this will be our turf area probably right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then as we go this way, we can just do like DG and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then maybe the playhouse yeah. and the trampoline and then maybe garden. I think it'd be cool to plant something up there on that hill, like terrace it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. With some, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Like terrace farming? Uh-huh, yeah. 
Although it may be yeah. tough because the house will shadow. Yeah. Well, you'll be able to follow the. Yeah. Sun and I think the sun goes this way. Yeah. So it, goes, it might be. So that's north up there. Uh huh. This is south. Yeah, so it's going to rise right there. That's east. And go this well, way. See where the, you can tell the sun setting over there? Uh huh. Yeah. So you don't have shade in the afternoon like I do. You're going to have some muddy shoes. I know. Uh. And then maybe a little path going up. See, and you're, this is your front porch right here. Like your front, I'm standing in the front door. See what I mean? Just trying to dig through there so you can. So mom is standing in the front porch. Yeah. It would be cool to plant a hedge up there at the top. Or I can put my picket fence up there. That's going to be a good sledding hill. <laughs> we should all get in the tractor and take a picture. Porta potty's gonna go there behind the truck. You wanna get in the tractor and take a picture? Well, there's no key in it. You can't drive anything, but you can get up there and take a picture. Get up there. Can we take a family picture, you guys? Yeah, babe, let's get in the tractor. Make sure the keys aren't in there. See, Tom, he brought the little one for digging the footings. Let's get in it and take a picture. I'm gonna take it for you. All right guys, so that is the property. Um, it's like I said, we just broke ground like today. Um, and there's not even a porta potty yet. We didn't even see it. It's probably not gonna be here till tomorrow, maybe the next day. But either way, that is the life update. Um, there's so many things we wanna do with this land, obviously. Um, we have so much more space than we've ever had. And so obviously things are gonna take place over long periods of time. We have like the five-year plan and the 10-year plan. And this is where we're gonna raise our family. Um, you know, we're gonna have two boys and I'm just really excited to see where all of it goes. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to comment down below. Um, the house emoji if you want to see more updates on the house on this channel and then an apple emoji with whatever teaching content you are interested in seeing and I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.